Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I have all of my binders in front of me this morning because I'm going to be going through each one of them and explaining the envelopes that I have. I did this video about almost a year ago, like last September, I think, and a lot has changed since then. I've added new envelopes and binders to my setup, so I just thought this would be a very helpful and informative video um, for beginners. Obviously, if you're just starting out, I would not recommend having this many envelopes it might be a little overwhelming but I've been cash stuffing for over two years now and each one of these envelopes do have a purpose so I will be going through that today so let's go ahead and get started so I'm gonna move all this to the side and I am going to go in the order that makes most sense to me so the first binder is going to be my bills binder so I will have all of the links um, to my binders and envelopes down in the description box in case you are interested in that. Um, but this is my bills binder and I just got these tabs from Upscale Currency for most of my binders to uh, let me know which binder it is without having to actually open it. Okay, so for my bills binder, the first is rent, and I do cash stuff all of my bills, even though they are all auto pay. This just makes it easier for me to make sure I don't spend this money, because it's, if it's left in my checking account, you know, I'm going to have to keep track of that on paper somewhere, and I might accidentally just swipe my debit card and spend the money for my bills. So this is what works for me. You don't have to cash stuff your bills. You can just leave that in your checking account. But I like um, that I cashed off rent because I do have a lot of higher denominations in here so that at the end of the month or whenever I need to do a bill condensing, this is the money I use before I take it back to the bank to condense some of my other bills. Car insurance. This is Logan's bill. I don't have a car insurance payment, so this um, the money from here comes strictly from his paycheck only. Next is Netflix. Then we have utilities, and some of these envelopes are going to be self-explanatory, so I'm not going to explain them. I'm just going to show you what they are. Next is Spotify. So we have a duo plan, Logan and I both on it. It's $16.99 a month. Next is renter's insurance. We just got this about a year ago, a year and a half ago maybe, and it is a quarterly expense, so I pay it every three months. Next is life insurance. This is my life insurance, so this only gets stuff from my paycheck. Um, we do share um, some of our bills, like rent, because we both live in the same apartment, so we're both contributing to rent. Um, he pays for his car insurance, I pay for my life insurance. If there were to be a time where I had to put some of my money into car insurance, I would be more than happy to do that, and um, he would feel the same way with any of my own personal bills. So that's kind of how we do that. And then um, we also, where is it, utilities. We also um, split utilities and internet, so I pay for utilities and he pays for internet. So um, we kind of divided this up the way we wanted and how it works for us. Next is Best Buy credit card. This is my Best Buy credit card, but we both kind of like share it. So we bought a washer and a dryer when we first moved in together. That was like our first big purchase together. So obviously that is both ours. So we both contributed in paying that off. Um, he needed a new headset because his broke and you know boys and their video games so I let him use my Best Buy credit card but he is paying for that on my credit card so that's that this is for Logan's phone payment car payment this is his car payment credit card this envelope is for my credit card I have with my bank so I wanted to have two separate envelopes for each of my credit cards because I originally just had this one and it was um I was using it for my Best Buy credit card, but then I started to need it for my bank credit card, so I just wanted separate envelopes for that. So that's what this is for. Next is internet. Next is for my phone, so I currently don't have a phone payment because my phone is paid off. I just have this envelope when I do get a new phone, and I do have a phone payment, so that's just kind of chilling in the back um, because I have organized my envelopes by due dates in like numerical order of when they are due. So this one's in the back because it doesn't have a due date yet. So internet is our last bill. All right, next is pet insurance. We currently do not have pet insurance, but this is something that I really 
feel like I need to get. So I just have this envelope in here for now. I need to stop putting this off and get it sooner than later. But yeah, I have not been stuffing that because I don't have that. Student loans, this is obviously for my student loans. I'm still in school right now, so I've been just putting some money in here. I have not been paying off my student loans yet, but I actually did just get a refund from my university because I received more money than my tuition was, so they refunded me money. And so that is gonna go toward student loans. I'm leaving that in my checking account so I can just pay that off like online. So um, yeah, that's what this envelope is. And then the last envelope I have in here is called fees. This is for any fees that we might have to pay when we move out of our apartment. We don't have plans on moving out of our apartment anytime soon, but I just wanna stay mindful of this so that we're not hit with like an unexpected expense. So how I've been stuffing this is for our rent actually, our rent is $1,180 a month but they've only been charging us $1,150. That extra $30 is supposed to be like the pet fee, but for some reason they've just not been putting it onto our account, so I haven't said anything, and I've just been putting that $30 into this fees envelope. So that's how this is getting funded. So that is everything for my bills binder. And if you have any questions throughout this video, definitely let me know in the comments. I'd love to talk down below and just talk about our cash envelope setups because I really like love doing this. So I'm actually gonna keep this binder out for a minute because the next one I'm going to talk about is my month ahead binder. So this is a binder that I recently implemented into my setup and I am, we are, when I say we, I'm talking about my boyfriend and I because we do this together so we are a month ahead on some bills not all of them yet but some so in my month ahead binder I have put the envelopes in here again in order of when they are due so it matches my bills binder so how I do this is when my rent envelope gets fully funded, I move it over here because it would be for the next month. So then when I start cash stuffing for rent again, I have a free envelope. So if I didn't have this, I would have all of this cash in one envelope, which is just way too much for one envelope. These envelopes are made with matte vellum laminating pouches so they are kind of fragile you don't want to stuff them too much so that's why i liked having the idea of my month ahead binder and it also separates the money so the rent money in here is for september 1st and the rent money in here is for october 1st and this is fully funded because we are month ahead so we have right now it's august 18th that I'm filming this so we have our payment for September 1st already and then we have our full payment for October 1st So on September 1st when I pay this I'm gonna take that out and just move this money over here So hopefully that makes sense if you have any questions, let me know down below. I will try my best to explain this um, But yeah, that's kind of my month ahead binder next is car insurance Next is Netflix utilities has no money because we are currently not a month ahead on this i do want to get a month ahead on it but you know with utilities it kind of varies every month so i need to kind of it's never like more than 200 i would say so i feel like 200 would be good to have so we're gonna try to work on that then i have spotify which we recently got a month ahead on i don't have one for renters insurance because it's a quarterly bill and I don't really care to be a month ahead on it yet like that doesn't really bother me since I have three months to save up for the next payment and it's only $35 a month but I do have life insurance and I'm not a month ahead on this yet I don't have one for my credit card um, next is Logan's phone with our magic month coming up which means there's an extra paycheck for you in the month based on how the days fall. So we get paid bi-weekly. So our magic month would be that we get three paychecks instead of two. So um, when that happens, I believe we'll be month ahead on this payment. And the way that we got a month ahead was when we had magic months, we kept stuffing for bills. So when you have a magic month, I don't think you really need to um, take money out for your bills. For that paycheck but we did it anyway and so it got us ahead so that's how we are a month ahead 
Next is car payment. We are ahead on that one. Don't have one for my bank credit card. And then internet. We are a month ahead on that. And then I have one for my phone too, just in case I, um, you know, because that's going to be another bill that I may have. So that is um, it for my month ahead envelopes and these are from jasmine's wallet i will have her shop link down below i think they're so cute i love them so yeah this system has really worked for me it's fairly new to my cash envelope system but i absolutely love it so far so i'm gonna go ahead and put my bills binder away so at the end of my month ahead envelopes i do have my savings envelopes right here um i only have three of them or, well, there are some other envelopes, like five of them. Um, so I decided to just combine it. So the first one is savings. This is general savings. And I know that technically all of my cash envelopes are um, like savings, but I just wanted like a savings fund envelope. Next is emergency fund. And this is in case of an emergency and we have to pull money from somewhere. I think it's good everyone have an emergency fund so my goal for this is probably five thousand but i haven't been stuffing it yet just because i've been stuffing some other things like my car maintenance envelope i want to get that one up and going first so emergency fund next is month ahead so this is different than um like these month ahead envelopes this month ahead envelope for me um is to have three to six months worth of expenses saved up so like just in case we get like laid off or something happens and we're not getting paid we have three to six months worth of expenses to kind of get by so i actually had almost a thousand dollars in here at one point but i took all that money out and put it into my car maintenance envelope because that was a bigger priority for us but this is definitely one of our financial goals so we will be working on this you know as soon as we can next is bank buffer this is empty because again it's not been a priority but this is just to save money for like a checking account buffer um mine is pretty good so i don't really need to save up for this but i just didn't know where to put the envelope so it's just been chilling in the back next is over budget i don't really use this envelope anymore this was for if I went over budget in a category like five or $10, I could just pull that money from this envelope to um, like fund that. So that's what that is. And that is it for my month ahead binder. Next binder is like variable expenses. So these are the envelopes that we go through kind of like on a weekly basis. So the first one is groceries and this is actually not my grocery envelope. I have a grocery envelope in my wallet, which is where I keep all of my grocery money. This, I need to get it renamed. Like I need to get a new envelope for this. This should say grocery buffer because from my YouTube paychecks, I like to put some money in here in case we go over budget in groceries, you know, because we either wanted to get more food for the week or the prices went up or something. So if I went over budget in my grocery envelope, I could come here and pull some money from here. But right now it is currently empty. Next is household. This is for like household items. So like cleaning supplies or like a shower liner, things like that. Next is pet care. This is for um, cat food and litter. Next, I have health. This is for any health related things such as medicine or allergy pills, anything like that health wise, not like um, doctor's visits or anything like that. I have another envelope for that. Sweet treats is obviously for sweet treats. So we like to go to crumble cookies or cold stone. So anytime we want to do that, we just pull from here. Next is kitties, and this is different than my pet care envelope because this is for like treats and toys, and I also do want to get some more cat trees for my cats in my apartment, so that's um, what this envelope is for. Next is car care, so this is for like um, little things for my car, like wiper fluid or anything just to like... Um, uh, car washes that's a good one car washes um although i do save like quarters for the car wash so um yeah just little things next is home this is anything for like my home so anything for the kitchen um 
I don't know. I can't really think of anything else right now. Yeah, just home stuff. Um, home decor. This is for home decor. So like throw blankets, throw pillows, any like wall decorations or like shelving. Um, I pull from home decor. Next is date night. Next is long day. So I made this envelope up because sometimes we just have a long day and we don't want to cook or anything, but then we don't have any money to go out to eat in my spending envelope in my wallet. So then I was like, well, let me just pull it from somewhere else. So that's kind of where I made this envelope up. So that's what long day is. Um, haven't really been using it that much because we're mindful of, you know, if we don't have any more spending money, we can't go out to eat. So next is gifts for like family so birthdays special events that we need to buy a gift for next is entertainment this is right now just like to go to the movies but it could also be for like going to the fair or any other fun activities that we want to do sick day this is for when we're sick and i don't want to pull grocery money to get like chicken noodle soup that i don't have on hand or like orange juice or anything like that um this could be really for anything to make us feel better or anything that we need while we're sick so it's kind of like an emergency fund for when you're sick so i definitely do want to start on this envelope it's just kind of been on the back burner a little bit next is rainy days so this could mean a ton of different things for everybody um for us this means like sometimes we just find ourselves sitting around on the weekend and all we want to do is go spend money which kind of sounds bad but I mean I don't know so that's where we would like come here and like pull money from here and just go like shopping for fun because you know that's fun so that's what rainy day is obviously not a priority at all it's just kind of more of a fun fun thing and then I have fitness which we did want to get like gym memberships together and start working out but again it has not been a priority so um this one is in the back just kind of sitting here those are all of my envelopes for like my variable expenses next up are sinking funds so these are envelopes that we are our categories that we want to save for over a long period of time so in this binder, I have high priority and low priority. And the difference between those two for me is that high priority are the ones that I'm focusing on right now. And low priority is just, they are still important, but I'm just not as focused on them. So first is car registration. This is for our license plate stickers. So I'm combining both mine and Logan's into here. There was one year that it just totally crept up on me and I was not doing the cash stuffing yet, I don't think. And I was like, oh my gosh, I just have to pull out $150 from like somewhere and I was like totally not prepared for that. So this is a really good envelope to have, you know, if you have a car and you need to get that. Next is car maintenance, which is very high priority for us. So we just hit $1,000 in here recently, which is so exciting. I want 5,000 in here just to have that. So yeah, we're currently working on this one. This is for any like maintenance or like if we need to get new tires or whatever, things like that. Then we're going into low priority. This is medical and this is for doctor's visits or other um, like higher costly things that have to do with medical related issues. Next is pet emergency. Since we have two cats, I think it is important that they do have an emergency fund, just like we have one for ourselves. So yeah, I definitely do want this to have quite a bit of money in it. It only has, I think, oh, Milo just got up here. Gotta get him down before he starts chewing on my things. I think it only has, yeah, $150. I do need to be stuffing this more, so yeah, pet emergency. Next is vet visits. That's kind of self-explanatory. Next is wedding. We aren't planning on getting married anytime soon, but I do think it's fun to save up for this because when the time comes, you know, I don't want to have to be scrambling for money. So that's wedding. Next is house. This is for, you know, again, we don't have any plans on moving out anytime soon, but this is for like a future home. We've not been prioritizing this at all. Obviously it's in low priority. I think we have some other financial goals we want to reach first before this one. Next is new car. Again, not a big priority right now. 
and then this envelope is called future this envelope was just going to be like savings for the future anything really but i feel like it's kind of useless in my setup i feel like i don't really need it so i don't know i might take it out i obviously have not been stuffing it and yeah i don't i personally don't see a point in having this when i have my savings envelope so yeah, I don't know because a lot of these things are also for the future. So like, I'm not sure what I would use this for. So if you have any ideas, let me know. I might just completely take it out. But yeah, that is it for sinking funds. Next, let's go into this binder. This is new. This is our travel binder. And I did just have one envelope called travel and I kind of wanted more than that because, you know, in the future when we do have time and money to travel, I wanna be saving up for all of the little things instead of just having one like overarching category. So the first envelope is for Japan. I recently just went a couple months ago and it was amazing. So this is just savings for Japan. Next is passports, which I have mine, but I wanna get Logan's because I think it's just good to have and it's also good for 10 years, so like, you know if you just want to go on a trip you have your passport already so that's always good to have next is pre-trip shopping i don't really have any like plans for this it's just like little things that might come up for anything even for like a road trip that we have to get like before the trip and um, we need money for that so that's this envelope Next is after vacation, which is an envelope that I have gotten a lot of questions about. So this envelope is for if we go on a vacation or any type of like road trip or whatever it is and we get back and I don't have money like from my paycheck. So I don't have a lot of PTO just because of my hours like as a student. So I don't accrue a lot of PTO. So I'm gonna need money like to make up for the time I was gone, if that makes sense. So hopefully that kind of explains my after vacation envelope. I just didn't know what to call it. So I called it after vacation because it's money that I need after vacation. So next is road trips. And then I think it's just good to have a buffer. So I have a buffer envelope. Next is the beach. We love the beach, so I feel like it needed its own envelope. This is just something I personally wanted. Obviously not necessary, but um, yeah, when we plan like our next beach vacation, I'll probably be stuffing this, but I don't know if that'll be anytime soon. Okay, and then these envelopes are like the more specific ones, which again, I don't have plans for these, but I just wanted to have them. So like when I do need to use them, I have them already. So I have lodging, airfare, gas. So if you watch my cash stuffing videos from the very beginning, I actually planned a road trip. So that's where like the road trip envelope would come in handy, a road trip to St. Louis with me and Logan and um, we've been together for over five years and have never like taken a road trip together. So I wanted to go to St. Louis and we had, had the hotel booked, I had the tickets for the aquarium, but then we needed to move because I got accepted to my university. So we had to move so I could start school and so I took all of the money for our planned vacation and put it towards our moving expenses so we never got to go do that so that's something I definitely want to plan in the future so we can do that and Logan's never been to an aquarium either which I think is so wild but yeah it's definitely something fun that I want to do here soon so gas would be for that since like we wouldn't fly there entertainment again kind of like my entertainment envelope I had anything for the trip that we're doing like any activities transportation, food, spending, and miscellaneous. So when I had my travel envelope, I had all this money in travel because this money was for going to Kentucky for Logan's aunt's wedding in November. And so when I got all these new envelopes, I didn't have like an envelope for that. I just put it in miscellaneous. So I don't know if we're still gonna go to that. So this money might be dispersed elsewhere, but I'll be sure to show that in a cash stuffing if I do decide to do that. 
Um, it is technically a road trip since we're just driving down there, but I already do have money for a separate road trip in this envelope. This is for Logan, actually. Him and his friends were talking about taking a road trip next year. So, yeah, he might be doing that. I'm not sure. It's definitely not set in stone. That's why I don't have much money in here yet. But, yeah, that's why I couldn't put this money into this envelope. So, um, yeah, miscellaneous. I think that's a good one to have. So, yeah, that money might be moved. But I'm not sure. But this is my travel binder. Um, I absolutely love the fonts on these envelopes. These are also from Jasmine's Wallet. Again, super high-quality envelopes. So, that is it for the travel binder. So I do have a shop, I have my own website, and I also do YouTube as kind of like a business, I guess. So I had to have a whole binder dedicated to that. So um, I absolutely love this dashboard. It's from Crafted by Coco. It says Aya Plans on it. I just think it's so nice. She included it in a package she sent me, and I was so surprised to receive that. So I, I really do love that. So the first one is inventory. This is for my shop. Anything that I need to buy to make what I sell, um, that's the money in here. Next is office supplies. I'm currently using this for printer ink, but it could be any other office supplies as well. Packing supplies. So this is for anything I need to pack up my orders and ship them out. Next is Canva Pro. I have the yearly subscription for Canva Pro, and this is just recently fully funded which is awesome so this could go in my bills binder but it's strictly like just for my business and i also do use canva pro a lot for school so yeah i just i just put it in my business um, binder next is equipment this is i do need to get more money in here but this is for any equipment that i might need it includes like if my printer breaks and i need to get a new printer um, it could also be, um, what else? I don't know. I don't know. The only one I was kind of thinking of was like if I need a new printer. So yeah, that's what equipment is. Organizing is obviously to organize all of the things. So any containers, whatever, to organize my stuff. Next is P.O. Box. I don't have a P.O. Box, but um, I'm working towards getting one, I think. I want the annual like to pay annually because that'll save you more money in the end so um, yeah that's what that is for shipping this is to pay for shipping so Shopify doesn't take shipping costs out from your payout like Etsy does I just recently moved from Etsy to Shopify so that's something I'm kind of getting used to but they actually did take I reached the $200 threshold so I have two $100 placeholders in here that I need to take out because they just drafted that from my checking account. I haven't had time to do that yet, so I will take those out, but that is shipping. Next is Shopify. I have the yearly, um, I pay annually for this. This won't be due until like next June. Next is website domain, which also kind of goes with Shopify. This is very cheap per year. It's also an annual expense for me. Then I have YouTube, so this is anything I need for my YouTube channel. That could mean like a new tripod, which I just recently had to get. Um, it could mean like decorations for my setup, anything like that. Next is taxes, so I do include my shop taxes and my YouTube taxes all in this one envelope. So I'm not sure exactly how much I'll have to pay, but I've been taking 30% out from my paychecks just to be safe. So that is taxes oh my gosh Milo has been meowing at my door non-stop I don't know if you could hear that throughout the video but then I let him in and then he wants to like eat all my things so I had to let him back out so sorry about that so lastly is miscellaneous this is just for anything that I might need or anything that comes up that doesn't really have an envelope so I like to keep a miscellaneous envelope in the back so that is it for my business binder. Next, we'll move on to my personal binders. So I have two personal binders because I have a lot of envelopes and they would not all fit into one binder. So I have this one, this is for um, self-care and hobbies. And then I have another one, which is necessities, sinking funds, and birthday. So let's go through this light gray one first. 
And if you couldn't tell, I love decorating my binders. I think it's so fun. It reminds me of a planner. Um, so this is from Jasmine's wallet. I think it's so, so cute. She knows me so well. Okay, the first envelope here is Starbucks. This is actually like a buffer for coffee. So when I go back to school, I'm not going to have as much money because I'll only be working once a week. And so all of my side income will have to go towards like bills and groceries and things that I need. So I'm not sure I'll really have enough money to treat myself, which I don't really treat myself besides like getting coffee. So I have this little buffer that I've been like saving towards. So, you know, when I don't have much money to work with, I can just pull from here and still be able to treat myself throughout the semester. Okay, then I have another coffee envelope. So this coffee envelope just holds the money for coffee that will not fit into my wallet. My wallet is an A7 size, which the bills need to be folded. So I like to have a lot of small denominations like fives and ones for coffee, just so it's easier to like pay for my drink. So all of the bills that won't fit in here because I have to fold them, so it's like double. I just store in here so I don't totally ruin my envelope. And then once the money like runs out, I just come back in here and put the money into my wallet. So that's that. Next is my like little self care section. The first one is spending. So this is for anything that I wanna spend on. It could be like going out to get lunch on my break or literally anything. Next is nails. So my nails are actually press ons so they do not cost an arm and a leg, which that's why I do press ons. So I only have like about $10 in here at a time. So yeah, that's my nails. Next is hair. This is for shampoo and conditioner. We get like a higher end shampoo and conditioner at Ulta and it is a little pricey. So I wanted its own envelope. Next is skincare and then clothing. Next is beauty. So this is anything makeup related or makeup wipes or cotton pads, anything like that. Next is shoes. I did have clothing just be for clothes and shoes, but sometimes these things get expensive. So I wanted its own envelope because I don't want to totally deplete this and then be like, oh, I have no money for like a new pair of shoes or something. So I like having two separate envelopes for that. But if you're just starting out, like you can totally like just keep them combined. Next is haircuts. So this is something that I wasn't really mindful of like saving for and then I would need a haircut and I'd be like oh my gosh I don't have like any money for that so I love having a haircut envelope I get my haircut at Ulta because one they always do a fantastic job and secondly you get like a free like hair wash with it so I really like that so it's definitely worth the $50 that I pay for so that's like about the same price as our shampoo and conditioner so again I wanted to keep it separate just to make it easier on myself so yeah okay next is my hobbies section so the first envelope is planning this is for anything that has to do with my planner if I need new stickers or sticky notes or inserts which I do need to get new inserts for next year I need to get that here soon I might honestly wait until Black Friday when they have sales or like Cyber Monday when they're on sale because that's what I did last year but then I don't want to wait that late either so I'm not sure we'll see but that is what planning is for next is budgeting so this has anything to do with my cash envelope system so if I want new envelopes new binders any like accessories like these tabs that's where I'll pull from to get those things so I do have a lot of friends in this community who send me their items for free which I'm absolutely so grateful for so these envelopes by Jasmine's wallet she sent she just gifts them to me which is literally so so nice I've gotten these binders from her um, also crafted by Coco has sent me several items for free so like a lot of the things in my system have been gifted to me which I really do appreciate a lot but I do want to give back to my friends and I also need to get new inserts for my budget planner just like my regular um, planner from this envelope I need to get more finance inserts for next year so I'm saving up for that 
And then the last thing is books because I absolutely love reading. So I have to have an envelope for books. So that is it for my first personal binder. Next is my second personal binder. So the first tab here I have is called necessities. So I have an envelope for toiletries. And I put this in my own personal binder because like Logan doesn't need all that. So that's why it's in my personal binder. Next is prescriptions. So self-explanatory, this is for my prescription. And then I have dental. So this used to be in our sinking funds binder, but I actually got a dental envelope for me and a dental envelope for Logan. I just wanted to keep our expenses separate. So that's why this is in here. Okay, next, sinking funds. I have an envelope for electronics. So this is for anything electronic related. So that could mean like chargers, phone cases. Um, last November, my laptop literally broke. So I immediately had to get a new one and I just put that on my Best Buy credit card because I did not have the money for that. So I do wanna get this up to a couple thousand dollars just for like, that emergency fund in case you know my laptop does break on me again because i have a very new laptop now but you know a couple years from now i'm gonna need a new one so i want to be prepared for that so that's what this envelope is for next i have an envelope for logan so this is for um like his birthday and christmas or anything that i want to get him next is school so this envelope is for anything school related. So I'll use this money to pay for textbooks, school supplies. I just bought a folder recently. I also just purchased a parking permit. So that's an annual expense for me. It's like $108 per year for my parking permit. So all of that comes out of this school envelope. Next is graduation photos. I'm not graduating until not this upcoming spring, but the next spring. So spring of 26. I do want to get professional graduation photos for that so this is something that I have a while to save for that um, I just thought of one day and I was like that is such a great idea so that's graduation photos next I have an envelope called classroom because I am majoring in elementary education so I will have my own classroom in the next few years and you know teachers have to fund mostly their whole classroom so I want to be prepared for that so I'm starting a sinking fund for my classroom and then the last section is birthday so this is my birthday section and I have an envelope for my birthday so this is just for whatever I want to get on my birthday for myself I'm not planning like a trip or anything like that it's just like small things so like if I want to go to the bookstore and get myself a new book, I can pull from here. And then the last envelope in here is gifts. I do have another gift envelope in my variable sinking funds binder, but this is for like gifts that I want to get like my coworkers or um, I don't know, like things like that, that Logan doesn't really need to pay for because it's not like our family. So that is what that is for and that is it for my second personal binder i have three binders left so these are kind of like the i don't know like special binders i guess so the first binder i have here is for my savings challenges so this is again another way of saving money, just a more fun way. So the first one I have is for my $500 saving challenge. The second one is roll the dice, which is a very, very fun saving challenge that I actually completed. So I erased all of um, the markings on that and I did spend a little bit of money from here already. And then the third one that I'm working on is mini savings. So these two trackers are available um, in my shop if you're interested in purchasing those. But these are current saving challenges that I'm working on. So the $500 one, this is to pay my savings account back from a long, long time ago. That's just going to go into my savings. Roll the Dice is just a super fun game. I didn't know what I wanted to do with the money, but... I've kind of just been spending it on myself and then mini savings this is 
so I can save up to get a new flat iron for my hair. Mine is currently so old and doesn't have like a heat setting on it, so I wanna get that. So those are the three that I'm working on. I'm trying to finish the mini savings so I can move on to something else. Next, I have this Love Yourself Saving Challenge from The Rich Broke Mom. I think it's so cute. Each heart is worth $10, which is super doable for my budget. So I think this is the one that I want to start next after I finish probably the mini because the 500 one is going to take me a little bit with me going back to school. So yeah, love this one. Next, I have some Saving Challenge envelopes also from The Rich Broke Mom. She was so kind to send me these. And I love them so I can put any saving challenge in this envelope so I got this as a freebie the rich broke mom how many can you save and the denominations are super super small which is perfect for me so I just stuck that in here because I think I wanted to also start that after my mini savings is done so I have all of these envelopes then I have this purple one that I got from Simple Dollar Co. And in here I have one of her scratch and save saving challenges. It's $100, which is small. So that's perfect again for me. So I just kept that in here. Next I have this coffee one from Upscale Currency. And this is so, so cute. I can't wait to try this. I have so many saving challenges that people have sent me that I just cannot wait to use. So yeah, I really like this one with the coffee theme and she also sent me an envelope. So I put it in her envelope. This is also from Upscale Currency. It's a satin savings challenge in one of her envelopes. Next I have a clear zipper envelope and this is from Lux Designs. Well, this clear envelope is from Amazon, but this um, leftover bill savings challenges from Lux Designs. So any leftover bills you have from like your wallet, you can put in here and do the saving challenge. So I think that's super fun. So I just have that in here. Next, I have a clear zipper envelope of all of the extra um, savings challenges from other shops. So um, I have like this one from Upscale Currency this mini saving challenge from Jasmine's wallet more from upscale currency this one is super cute can't wait to do that one um, oh here's an emergency fund from simple dollar co that I can't wait to do I have another um, if I can get it out scratch off from the fancy dollar again low denominations so yeah I just have all of my savings challenges in here just to store them and then in this I'm blanking in this envelope I have some alphabet note saving challenges from the XO budget so this is like her little collection of alphabet note saving challenges the denominations go from 1 to 100 like bills so like 1 5 10 20 50 and 100 so I just kept all of hers in its own zipper envelope so that when I want to do those I can just pull them from there. Next I have another envelope of more saving challenges that would not fit into these zipper envelopes. So in here I have a Christmas one from Elaine Budgets. I have a mystery savings from the Rich Broke Mom. More satin ones from Upscale Currency. So yeah these are just some like bigger ones that wouldn't fit in the zipper envelope. So I just store all of them in here. Um, so that is it for my savings challenge binder. Next up is this white binder. I should have done this after my travel binder because I thought this was like a special bills binder because I'm still getting used to like the colors of the binders and what's in them. Um, but this is actually my holiday binder. So I was sent some amazing envelopes from the XO budget, her holiday cash envelopes. So I have New Year's anniversary, Valentine's Day, Easter, Mother's Day, Father's Day, 4th of July, Halloween, Thanksgiving, Black Friday, and Christmas. So I'm only focusing on a few of these envelopes. I'm hoping that I can stuff these here soon, but I was sent these envelopes by JT, who is so, so nice. So I thought I would make my own binder for the holidays. So that is it for my holiday binder. 
And then the last binder I have is my Special Bills binder. So this is one of my absolute favorites. In this binder, I have all of my star notes. So I have this star note insert from the Rich Broke Mom where I kept all of my star notes like in this envelope. But my collection started to grow, so I wanted inserts for each denomination. So I have $1 star notes, um, $2 star notes, 5 10 20 50 and 100 so if you don't know what a star note is basically um at the end of the serial number on a bill there's a a letter but if it's a star note it has a star on it so i've been collecting these for over a year and it's been super fun i think the star is so cute so this is a really fun way to save money i know a lot of people started to do it after they saw it on my channel which is so awesome and so fun to see what bills other people are collecting because for me the ones i find most are one dollar and twenty dollar star notes so if you collect star notes let me know which um, denomination you find the most of i also got a two dollar star note from one of my subscribers and this bill is so crispy and i don't have a two dollar bill and it being a star note just makes it 10 times cooler so i like treasure this so i think that is so awesome so that is my star note collection and then okay this i don't have like um a label for this yet but someone had commented on a video when i found a star note saying that the x at the end of the serial number is like something they don't see a lot and i was like oh now that like you say that i don't see it a lot either so now i'm collecting x notes which I only have one and it's really, really gross. But every time I get cash, I look at the end of the serial number just to make sure it's not a star note. So now I've been looking for X notes and I've only found one. So yeah, I think it's just a fun way to like look for money. So I have that right there. Next, I have an envelope for my yen. So this is actually money from Japan that I saved when I went um, on my trip. So I, I just think it's so cool and I think their currency is so pretty. So of course I had to save one of each bill and Katie from the Fancy Dollar made this envelope for me, which I absolutely love. And then I have another envelope with this like gold, it's fake, from Japan as well. This is a lucky charm and it's just supposed to bring you more money. So I thought it'd be super nice to add into my binder because who doesn't want more money you know it's a good luck charm so i just keep that in here and then in this zipper envelope i have some more yen from japan and i also have another lucky charm this is also just supposed to bring you more money so of course i kept one of each coin so here's the 500 i also have 100 50 um 10 no 10 right here 10 what is this one? Oh, this one's five and then one so i kept one of each just because i think it's super cool to have and collecting currencies from other countries um is awesome so this is like my special bills binder so that is it for that and that is it for all of my binders oh my goodness i'm not sure how long this video was but I, I try not to talk too much about each of my envelopes to keep this video like as short as possible. But as always, if you have any questions, definitely let me know. And hope this video was informative. I hope you guys enjoyed watching it. Um, if you watched until the end, thank you so, so much. Please give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Don't forget to subscribe and I will talk to you guys in my next video.